Welcome to This Week in Unreal, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Unreal Engine. Let me know in the comments which project featured this week is your favorite. Let the countdown begin. Number 8. Our first project comes from Rowan Mahone, showing off his magnifying lens solution built in Unreal. Using ray trace translucency in the Unreal Engine, the effect runs live within the editor viewport, making the workflow extremely quick. It really goes to show the types of applications Unreal-driven graphics can have beyond gaming. Kudos to Rowan on the awesome implementation of Refraction Rays. You can check out more of Rowan's work on ArtStation. Number 7. The local post office needs your help. Explore a vast, beautiful island world filled with amazing vistas and charming characters as you deliver mail to the inhabitants. Mail Tail is a solo dev game being created by Robin Heisterkamp and is available to wishlist on Steam. Deliver mail, find treasure, and fly around using the standard postal delivery umbrella. But be careful, because not everyone on the island is peaceful. Explore secret locations and battle dangerous bugs as you perform your postal duty in Mail Tail. Number 6. The truth is out there, specifically in the atmospheric neighborhood of Greyhill. Greyhill Incident is a story-driven survival horror game involving an alien invasion during the early 1990s. As Ryan Baker, players must grab the nearest baseball bat and a trusty revolver to make their way through the town of Greyhill to save a neighborhood friend. Sneak through open fields, investigate barns and houses as you fight to survive the alien invasion and uncover an alien conspiracy. Number 5. It's World Cup time, so that means more soccer, or football. Well, if FIFA is too polite for your taste, take a look at No Fair Play, a multiplayer soccer game with physics, parkour gameplay, and no rules. Punch, push, tackle, and grab. It's up to you to choose how you get the upper hand against your opponent. Customize your character and challenge your friends in a match online. And if you can't stand up to the challenge, go into rage mode to drastically change the game. No Fair Play is available in early access on Steam. Number 4. Looking to add stylized grass to your game? Check out Your Sandbox's procedural stylized reactive grass for Unreal Engine 5. Using simple math, the grass shape and size are procedurally generated using quad meshes. With the ability to cull grass hidden beneath other meshes and player pawn interaction, the grass already provides some excellent usability right away. You can recreate the effect using the tutorial video or obtain the files directly from your sandbox's Patreon. Number 3. Feeling a little lonely in your open world game? You might be interested in the work being done by uCrowds, a real-time crowd simulation using the Unreal Engine. Using Unreal Engine 5, Niagara, and distributed computing power over the cloud, uCrowds can simulate up to 1 million NPCs running a wayfinding algorithm. That is, each NPC is designated a random goal location. The sheer number is kind of mind-blowing. Even without cloud computing, a decent-sized rig can run nearly half a million NPCs at a time. Chew on that, desolate cities of cyberpunk. Number 2. Lunar Soil is a third-person science fiction game of exploration and discovery. Solve challenging puzzles and unravel the secrets of abandoned expedition bunkers and mysterious puzzle towers. With chilling sci-fi sets, Lunar Soil lets players explore a desolate alien world filled with artifacts and clues to help you uncover the truth. Lunar Soil focuses on puzzles rather than combat, so bring your wits to make your way through the game's environments. Though still in development, you can join the active playtest going on right now. Number 1. Okay, so Nanite Foliage didn't happen this week, but it's just so cool that we had to talk about it in this video. With the release of Unreal 5.1, users can now utilize Nanite with Foliage meaning more robust landscapes and level of detail with a fraction of the performance hit. I'll just let the images from Mithra Tech do the talking. For more cool projects being done in the Unreal Engine, be sure to check out this video here, and I'll be back next week with another This Week in Unreal.